Hello and welcome back, my friends, to a world of ice and fire version 1.3. I'm Daily Fix. Now, you might think to yourself, hey, this is not where we left off last time. No, no. We were in the army of, uh, my god, I've completely lost where we were. Uh, in the army of the uh, Westerlands. And we were having, <laughs> we were definitely not having a good time. But... I decided to take a gamble and I was traveling up to the wall over here and I got the most amazing weapon ever. I got a lance and thanks to this lance I was able to kill. Finally I was able to kill without dying. And you can see how I got this two handed axe as well, I cannot use it on horseback. But I've been starting to train up my trips and making money as well and that's well as much as important as the rest of it. Now I did of course level up a few times as you can see I still have wounds from some of the battles I did off camera because I was testing out if we could actually do this. Now we got two points. And I've just been told, go for strength and go for agility. You will need them. Now we can either go in agility 9, getting weapon mastery, shield, athletics, riding up. Actually, it wouldn't be that bad of a deal, especially uh, looting would be there. would be absolutely great as well. Uh, but the combat skills are just as important, so I'm going to be increasing that up to 15... Apparently I... wait a minute, this was 15. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wounds. Here you go. Yes, we've lost one strength. Uh, we'll heal in a day. And we lost uh, one agility, this will heal in a day as well. Unfortunately... <sighs> this cannot be cured. It's a bit of a shame, but it is just the way things are. This just doesn't mean I will need to put some points in here. Um, although, if that one heals, I can increase the agility and the rest of the skills as well. We'll only be needing four of those. So, I might as well be putting that one point back into strength. I will not spend my skill points because I actually want to go into uh, riding, athletic shields and weapon mastery like I said uh, before. And we'll be increasing our pole arm skill. I've been loving pole arms. It's, it's like insane. But it is finally time to start looking at the quests. Winter is coming. You must find the farm north of Winterfell and remove the wildling raiders. Once complete, return to King Rob Stark. So let's go. Let's go. Let's approach this farm. Uh, you will not get your entire army with you, you'll actually get a mere few or four guys, but now that we got the lands... Oh yeah! You must push back the raiders. Press K to finish reading. I've also been told that I should um, exercise enthusiasm. <laughs> I'm not much of theatrical, I really am not, but I will do my best. If this is... What helps you enjoy my videos, then might as well give it a go, right? Come here, you... Oh, completely failed. <laughs> I will not do that twice. Let's time, it's Vlad the Impaler. Ready to impale. Oh no, sir, you won't. I told you, you won't. Who's the next? You. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I want to kill these guys. Oh, never been that much of a kill though, but look at that. We got 10 renown. Are you one of mine? No, definitely not. Oh, you are going to feel that in the morning. Oh, you, you, you didn't die. Okay, let's see if we can at least help out some of our guys. Now, I've been getting some of these Night Watch guys, uh, uh, like this one. He is a Nightwatch uh, trainee ranger. Now, we all know the Nightwatch and archery. <laughs> oh, those, those two go hand in hand. 
So I definitely want to see if I can get a few more of those archers. But uh, let's tap out. Let's tap out because you will not. You will not get the message saying you need to tap out of the So you arrive at the farm. No, I'm definitely <laughs> don't. Oh man. So you think you can make a difference. You can't. Winter's coming. And those things with it. Stay the side of the wall unless you want to be taken by the cold. Well, I definitely, um, I don't don't like the cold. Um, you watch as the wildling take. You watch as the wildling takes his last few breaths. Okay, well, um, you must take the news to King Rob right away. You must have used. Uh, you must have used for it, King Rob. Why not King Rob Stark? I feel like ah, this is not paying respect to the man. So, we got the quest done in this, what appears to be a somewhat of a floating, is it a bit floating? Well, there's one thing that I want to show you actually, as, um, <laughs> yes, Shadow Tower is being sieged by the free folks. Now, that can be good, but let's go back to Winterfell. Man, I'm so glad to see that we're finally, finally doing those quests. I've been absolutely dying to do those. I really have been. Man, I should have done this like three episodes back. So for those of you who are still watching, thank you for not giving up on me. So let's go to Winterfell. But oh, wait a minute. There's actually no point for us to go to Winterfell. <laughs> because King Rob's not here. No, he's not here. He's uh, probably doing something else. Well, let's see where he is. He's usually not that far out. Two of your wounds are cured. Well, there you know what that means. That means we can finally add some of these skill points. Uh, weapon mastery, shield, riding. And I would not mind getting a bit more athletics. Because we will be fighting at some points. Um, without a mount and testing out his two-handed axe see if it's just as well as the executioner's axe but hey that's all in due time but let's continue I think we'll be going on to White Harbor and perhaps we will come across a lot now there was one thing that was um, striking me as odd these guys do they actually do you do you have gear Anyone? Because I don't see it. I don't know if I can press these guys and see what they do, but... Yeah. It does appear that these guys do not have weapons. They have a spear. I am well aware of that. But they will all go into Northern Footmen, a Man-at-Arms, King's Guard, and then House Guards, because um, it does appear that these guys are, uh, well, the top tier of their line. And the Veil Archers, I've definitely made a boo-boo with those. Actually, this is one of the guys that I've managed to rescue. So, you cannot blame me for making him an archer. In a Clash of Kings, the Veil Archers apparently are very good. Or am I now confusing a few things? I'm not sure. But let's go to this Nightwatch training and let's show you that if you take the Nightwatch Ranger, this is your progression and he will go into an elite ranger by the looks of it he has a longbow he doesn't have a shield but i don't want these guys on the front line they need to be behind a nice shield wall formation and the true priest for these definitely are going to be knights although they are somewhat of a balanced uh, faction if you can see this um, it, it's just this horse just pops out one bit, but you can definitely make a complete army of these Rivalent's troops. So it's actually not that bad. Um, here's the troop tree I was looking for. So you got the veteran infantry, you got the veteran rider, but we'll be going for the ranger elites eventually. Eventually, and um, <laughs> this doesn't guarantee that we are going to be winning. But let's go. Let's go, and there you go, King Robstar has an army of 640. <laughs> well, shit. 
Dude, you've been hoarding troops. Leave some for me. Good to see you again. Daily David, yeah, my, my, that name is absolutely fantastic. Um, so, your grace, I've dispatched of the Hatling rain, uh, Raiders and successfully protected the farmers. Excellent news! Now, you do, you do get 600 uh, gold. So, if you got like a group of five, you should be able to do this quest in theory. So, there is one other thing. Your Grace, I spoke to a wildling raider before he died. He was terrified. As if running for something. He begged me to burn his body once he had passed. Those wildlings are super superstitious folk. Has anything else mentioned? Only that winter is coming. And along with its death. He also mumbled something about white walk. I did not see something about white walkers. I'm sorry. Didn't. We got one scroll. Hmm. This sounds more like old man, story, old man stories. Go to Castle Black. Find the Lord Commander and see if he can shed any light on the situation. Oh, and give him this scroll. Yes, your grace. We will. Uh, we can actually give him troops if we so desire. But let's get back to Castle Black. I believe that Castle Black should be in a very tough position. Oh no, that's the Shady Tower. Castle Black, there you go. Uh, we might want to consider... And this is all up to you, my friends. We might want to consider... Joining the Night's Watch. I believe that is something we can do. We can, I believe, also join the free folks. If you have done the quest, like, Men of the Night's Watch or something like that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, though. This is all speculation on my behalf, and I'm very sorry if it's not correct. Uh, border incident. Words reached you that the village of, of Bay and Crabs abducted a woman... Of a prominent family in Craig Lock to marry one of their boys. Though you don't know whether or not the rumors are true, you do know one thing. It seemingly this seemingly minor incident has raised passions among the people of Dragonstone, making it easier for them to go to war against the Vale. Oh shit. Sorry, I had to drink some of my coffee because um <laughs> I really hope you can notice I'm exaggerating the heck of it. Uh, I actually wouldn't mind fighting a bunch before we get to Castle Black, but let's go into the inn. Um, we got Northern Levy here. I'm not really interested. Um, there is a white smut. What? What is it that you do? I compose and write songs of lords of the land and their ladies. Sometimes I sing about war. Sometimes about the virtues of knights. And sometimes for the more... Holy shit. Sophisticated? Or oh, you gotta applaud me for trying. A, a sophisticated audiences. About the virtues of wine. The virtue of wine. Okay, cool. For the audience. However, I sing of love. Tell me about it. what is the poems and magicians do again? Uh, you just told me. Okay, that's all. Um, I don't really feel the need to go... And teach myself some poems. Student of the Cathedral Whim? Oh, you're a bookseller, huh? I'm betting the scroll is just selling me off to the Night's Watch. It's like stabbing me in the back. So, aid intelligence to read The Conquest of Dorm. That's a book I have in a Clash of, Can uh, Clash of, Clam Clash of Kings. Sorry. <laughs> And the Maester's Book of Potions, Wound Treatment. And the Trade Composition. No, this is definitely about trade. This could be about tactics. But I need my money for something else. Um, you can go to the brothel if your men are feeling a bit down. <laughs> You'll have to pay for it though. And we can ask if people want to be joining us. Now, we one don't have the room in our party apparently, and especially do not have 7,000. Uh, you can also perform with a speech. 
give a speech. Let's give a speech. I'm probably demotivating the entire Winterfell. Well, nobody's interested. I've just been speak. I've, I've been talking to to no one for three hours straight. Well, that that seems to be a waste of time. Village farmers raiding party of the free folk. Um, apparently, if you got a nice force, these are very nice to be attacking because they're not that uh, armored. I'm not saying they're not strong. Everything in this mod is strong. So let's go here. Actually, how many guys can I have? Like 33. I'll keep one spot open for the unlikely chance of me finding my companion back. So let's go to Castle Black. Man, look at this. This is a slap in the face of the Night's Watch. They have not been doing well. Their armies have been completely low on units. Wait, I, I can show you here. Um, I, I, I know it's difficult to see. Let's see if I can find a bit of a blank spot. So you got that um, so Malastas party of one. Um, German Buckingwell's party of 22. We got the Lord Commander of 202. Now that's actually a nice one. And we got... Um, Half, half end? I don't know. But he had 18. So it's really, really low. I'm actually looking to see if I can find my guy back. Grandy, no, you're definitely not my man. That's a bit of a shame. Actually, trade with the locals. What do you have? Oh! <gasps> Oh, I know that these will sell. Um, let's go up to 200. Man, is this the place where you can find these furs? Because it's a lot more north than I anticipated. So we got some furs to be trading. Let's see if there's some arms. Hmm. I do know that I need to start investing in my own gear. And I wouldn't mind actually being... Look at this. Increases party morale and improves the leadership and tactic skill. Should we do this? Well, it's a two-handed weapon. It's not a poor weapon. It has a trust. But it is, it's not a poor. Tell me what to do on this one, guys. Should we take a banner as our two-handed weapon? It, it is a lot of reach. But oh man, the damage is, is really, really low. We could also increase like the Stark Shield. How expensive would that be? Like getting the Stark Shield uncracked. Like, that would be interesting. Okay, let's go let's take a stroll to the town. Let's take a look at Castle Black. I don't know if Castle Black is really... I believe you will see it a lot in the um, in the series, but like I said, I I've stopped around season three because I'm um, I'm not good at remembering, uh, like you know. I want you to do some on my on my weapon. Oh, I need a weapon smith, huh? Okay, fine. Have it your way. Damn, it's snowing here. Guildmaster? Well, that's never a bad thing to be talking to him. Oh, for crying out loud, you just want to spend me to... Uh, oh, <laughs> Yes, he just wants me to spend a thousand on wine. Drunk. The Stark Shield. Now, he is cracked. And he can make it better for 163. Agreed. Can I, can I look like this? Okay, so it's now bedded. And I believe unbettering it will be a bit expensive. No, actually no, well, let's make it plain. Agreed. Wait, can, I, can, can we do more? No? No? Stock shield? Can make it thick? Come on, I want this stock shield. I want it to be balling. Look at that, the size has gone up, um, the 
resistance has gone up, the HP has gone up. So, 347, 31279. Ah! There you go. So let's take a look. 347, okay, so the resistance has gone up. 79, 80, okay, that didn't change. But the resistance has gone up by two, and the HP as well. And you know me, as soon as my shield breaks, I'm a dead man. I am definitely a dead man. Let's go to the Lord's Hall. There's a feast in the progress, but you are not sufficient status. <gasps> Bastards. Well, fine by me then. They're having a party. They don't even have troops. It's not fair, man. It's not fair. I really want to speak to that one guy. Or, like, have a party to fight. Oh, I want to show you I can fight. I can fight, man. All these begging brothers. Go join the Night's Watch. You get a wage. You get a funeral. Everything a man should dream of in this day and age. Oh, well. Guess what I'll be doing, guys? I'm going to end the episode up here next time. Next time, I'm sure this party will be done. I'll be making sure of that. And let me know in the comment sections what to do with the banner. Also, I would love it if you could comment on the way that I'm trying to do this with my voice. I, I sound like someone that is overcompensating at the moment. That's how I feel. But... Just let me know, let me know. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It would definitely help my channel. If you've not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Leave me comments and I'll see you next time. Have a good one and bye-bye.